Engineer 775 here doing a little upgrade to an existing solar water pumping system and we just hooked up a Honda generator with an IO 101 and just I'm filming this tank here to uh, see if the, it's pumping water. We know it's pumping water. There it comes. See the little ripples? So that, that means the tank on the hill is full and uh, that's a beautiful sight. So the reason we did this is because the customer had left a pipe or hose on and drained her tank. Her tank is way up on that hill somewhere. You can't see it. And we fill that tank and that gravity feeds the whole property, takes care of the cows, takes care of the house, which is down there. You can see the smoke coming from the house. So the whole reason for this is to give another option, simple option, if you have a small generator, like a thousand watt generator, or even a battery and a small inverter, that you can get your water tanks back up and filled, no matter the condition of the solar that day. Now, it's a beautiful solar day, so it was pumping like mad when we got here, so that's why the tank was full. So, now we have a, a good option here, and let me show you the switch. I'm going to turn, turn this off. Heard that relay switch. I don't know if you heard that. I'm going to turn the generator. Turn the generator off for a second. So this is a simple IO101 switch where we're bringing in AC power with a generator. So this is a 115 volt version. And we're bringing in solar power, about the same amount of volts. Actually almost identical on it. So it didn't miss a lick. See the water down there running on the overflow? So that's on solar not on generator because the generator is obviously off and then if I check here we should have it's not pumping much but yeah 0.4 amps times 120 volts doesn't take much to make this pump work so she's working just fine so now we have two points of disconnect this disconnect was already here we just added an IO 101 and uh, so that should make her happy. That gives her a way. There's no power here, but this gives you a way to recover if you have gas or just need extra water. Just need a small generator to uh, get your tank full again so that it's overflowing. We're going to eventually take this overflow probably down to her pond or to another water feature. And uh, so that's, that's pretty much it. So a little quick solar pit stop here to just add a little versatility to one of our solar water pumping systems and this was one of the first uh, top of pole mounts that we used this type of pole mount and they've improved it a little bit even since then with some clips so we it's worked out pretty well we did one about a month ago and uh, I'm just here to fix it up so it's nice everything's grown back in nobody sees where we trenched oh that was a muddy day when we trenched that so now that tank that's up there services the house and we didn't know that's the highest point we could go on a property and she's been absolutely fine the house is down there even the bathroom on the top floor so you can take a decent shower a lot of times you can overcome pressure with volume anybody out there and NV1P1 equals NV2P2, know that relationship. Um, the So we ran inch and a quarter all the way down from that tank. So there's a tremendous amount of volume coming towards the house. So it won't give her the pressure of, say, a normal 40-60 pressure switch. But there's no bladder tank, no pressure switch, no controls at all. It's just these three panels keeping that tank full. you got to love solar water pumping. It's the best. So... But this little addition will make her happy when she has guests come over and there's no oh, no water in the tank. It's quite embarrassing. So this can get her to recover real quick. A lot of things happen. Cows knock things over. Pipes freeze. And then you got to get water back in the tank. So this is a way to do it. All right. If you have any questions or need some water, we enjoy pumping water. We've got some pumps to pump water right over that mountain if you need it. Engineer 775 signing out. <laughs>